the secrets of the abandoned houses of the Outer Hebrides. As you travel through this landscape, it becomes apparent that many of the houses are uninhabited. But they're not all empty, as you might expect. When you take a closer look, you realise they've been abandoned, complete with furnishings. These intriguing houses have become a source of fascination for John Maher. John's life has changed a lot since the 1970s, when he was drummer for the punk rock band, The Buscocks. Oh, it's, uh, it's just ruined, you know, compared to a couple of years ago. I believe the, the roof was still up then. And John first visited the Western Isles on a holiday, but he fell in love with the place, and in 2002, he moved here with his wife. When I first moved up here, I always had this notion that I'd uh, be able to go out and take lots of photographs. One of the nights that I was out photographing somewhere like this, um, I actually went inside because uh, I wanted to put some, you know, illuminate the building from the inside. And that's when I noticed that there were quite a lot of um, personal belongings still in the house. And so I came back the following day during daylight hours and started taking pictures of those and that became an addiction. I went out searching for houses like that. As I started posting those um, photos on, the, on my site and on the internet and so on, um, there, there seemed to be, uh, th there was a genuine interest from people in them. And um, I got contacted by um, another photographer based in Fife uh, who was doing a similar kind of thing. And he, uh, he suggested that maybe we ought to try and get um, an exhibition of these abandoned homes together. And so, the Leaving Home exhibition was born. These photos offer a high-resolution glimpse into lives left behind. Folk who seem to have just walked out and never come back. So, so many of the photographs uh, that you see of the Hebrides are of, um, you know, the amazing beaches and, um, you know, maybe a sunset or whatever. But the, there's, uh, to, to, to me, those pictures don't have a connection between the people and the place. When I started going into s some of these houses and seeing their personal effects and so on, it suddenly, be, although there weren't people in the, in the pictures directly, but the evidence of those people was there. And just something magical about the, the fact that maybe some of these places have been, uh, you know, last time they were inhabited, it could be 30 years ago, four, maybe longer. But there were still traces of them there. And that, that is, I just find that way more interesting than, you know, I could go to an old castle ruin or something, but it's, it's just walls, you know, there's no personal effects in there. My favorite image from the Leaving Home series is the shot that I actually got in this house. There was so much detail. The dead sheep that had obviously been in there for probably years because it was just a skeleton. And next to that was one brown leather shoe on the floor. There were old 12-inch um, vinyl records in their sleeves scattered on the floor as well. Now it's gone. Nobody can achieve that picture again now. In a way, I suppose that that proves the, um, you know, the importance of documenting this stuff. The photos offer a poignant glimpse into the lives of some of those who've left the island. But later on, I'll be meeting one of the many people 